Hey everybody, how you doing? Just a quick video. I made a trade for some LA Edelbrock heads for these Magnum RT heads. Pretty cool, huh? Well, if you don't know much about them, this is the Mopar Performance um, brand. It's like an aftermarket brand. It's not quite like an Edelbrock or anything like that because it's made by Mopar. If you have a Dodge Durango RT or any other eight cylinder RT vehicle, it doesn't say Mopar and it doesn't say RT on it, you don't have RT heads. Trust me, your Dodge Durango RT does not have these heads. You have to buy them from Mopar over the parts counter and put them on yourself or have the dealer do it. Whatever is your flavor. But as you can see, they're a little bit like the W2. Um, everybody was telling me that these exhaust ports uh, are, are, are kind of pattern, pattern after the W2 and in my prior videos you got to see those a lot Also, they developed the bosses over here at the end to help strengthen it so it doesn't crack um, As most of you people know not everybody knows but uh, the rock is a 1.6 and These come with a 202 uh, Pardon me these come with the 20216 uh, valve combination. These RT heads also came with the stock size valve. I think it's a 192 valve and a 166 exhaust. They're pretty simple. Attaching bolt slides through here. It goes through there. Well, not quite like that. Yeah, but you can see how it would rest in there. And she just bolts on right here. But what I'm going to do now is. My that dawn flashlight. Quickly show you the ports. You get a little look on the inside here. And uh, you can go back and see uh, Charlie Savito's uh, videos on on the on the regular heads, the regular Magnum heads, and you can compare ports with them. They should help out a little bit too gonna help get you guys that are into cylinder heads Let's see how they are that's basically a stock RT head out of the box the guy ran it for a while he decided to upgrade and he wanted to use the LA components because the LA heads have more of a intake selection with the with the Dodge Magnum you really don't have that you only have a couple a couple of intake manifolds and they're really hard to find show you the side real fast yeah, just like stock or very close to stock I think These just come off a running engine. They're in pretty good shape. I could run them as is, but I'm gonna, uh, of course, clean them up and address a few things. Now, if you guys are gonna say, what is the flow like? Well, I made this hand chart. Me and my crayons again, right? That's right. All right, the Dodge Magnum, stock ports, stock valves, green and purple. Versus the RT, red and orange. Follow the cre uh, the green and red for the intakes, and you can see we have a nice spread. And she starts to take off around 350, and by 400, there's a little bit more. By 450 and 500, you know, she's really starting to pick up quite well. And you can see the exhaust is really much, much nicer. And these ports are as cast. As far as flow numbers, so you guys know, here's the stock Magnum, 5.30 in the afternoon, 80 degree day, low humidity, and for an ASCAST head, uh, oh, yeah, oh, there it is, 192 stock valve size. Um, I mean, you know, flow's okay, it's not bad. It's not bad, most street guys are gonna lift it up in the 500 area, 
600 that only picks up two CFM at 700, which is ridiculous. Is another two CFM. I, you know, it's it's almost nothing. So you know, as long as you get it up around that four or five hundred area, hang that valve open for a little while, you'll do okay. A lot of the old time cams are like that. Here's the exhaust numbers and the swirl numbers. I don't know if you guys are into swirl numbers. Some is good, too much is bad. What's good, what's bad, I don't know. Here are the air speeds that Charlie reported for me. And here's the Magnum RT. Now we got some time separation. The other one was March, this is October. But you can see it's a 79 degree day, just more humidity. And it was in the morning we did this at. You can see how the RT intake and exhaust pick up very well. You got a 500 lift, 239 CFM, 600 lift, 235. So this should be a nice improvement. Now, as far as those swirl numbers go, uh, you know, like I said, if you're interested in them, the kind of tank in the middle there, not the greatest, but. It is what it is, right? Here's some more numbers. You know what? I'll just slide it over. Here's the Dodge Magnum numbers. Here's the RT numbers. The exhaust side. And the RT exhaust. And that's what it looks like on the graph. I think all in all, I think these heads are going to be a nice little upgrade, you know, something nice to bolt on. It takes factory, you know, uh, springs, so it's, you know, easy. Eight millimeter valve. Um, sorry, what did I, where did they flow to? I had those valve stem seals. You guys know what valve stem seals look like, but they're eight millimeter positive valve stem seals. They look like Viton seals. So, all right, that was a quick one. I thought you might like to see what it, Nice little upgrade I'm going to do for my Magnum. My Magnum squared. As my friend's wife called it, the pit mobile. All right, till next time, like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.